Today officially is when the name De Classica ceases to exist. That name can no longer be used to explain or describe the game between Dortmund and Bayern Munich. In footballing terms, Bayern Munich sacrificed Dortmund. How do you analyze the game? How do you analyze this game that was criminally one-sided? Please tell me, how do I go about explaining this game to my kids, to my grandchildren, to my great-grandchildren? Bani, I mean, Dortmund, defensively, with the ball, tactically, um, they were a shambles. It was, because it's interesting that, I mean, Dortmund, because when I was doing my pre-match analysis, Dortmund are third. And you say to yourselves that, my goodness, I mean, the, the, the game I saw wasn't third versus first. The game I saw was a Bundesliga team against a second division team. That's what I saw. I saw a Bundesliga team, Bundesliga champions against a second division team, or maybe like mid-table or so, so forth. Because the ease with which Bayern caught through Dortmund, it was scary. And I said to myself, that, like, this, this is madness. Because is it that the Dortmund players aren't very good? Is it that they, they, they somehow have a kind of fear of playing Bayern It just does not make sense. That's just the basics. Defending, defensive basics. Hustling basics. Chasing for the ball. Getting those tackles in. Being tight to manner. Not allowing Bayern to have one touch. It was... It was just scary just how easy Dortmund allowed Bayern Munich to play. And I think, look, for, for Bayern Munich, man, I mean, this, these guys are serious. Because I, 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 I warned you guys a month ago that Hank is, is coming for some. Because <laughs> Hank is, has a title already locked down, Bundesliga. He's not going to confirm that in the next game because Schalke won. He's going to get that um, DFB Pokal Cup. And he's just trying to say what's up about the champions. All he's saying is, is what's up about the champions. He's just trying to say what's up. But I think, that this, look, this speaks to a bigger thing. But just looking briefly about Bayern, Thomas Muller's playing some of, some of his best football right now. Robin is slowly coming back. Dude, Ribery is still playing. We already know about the flipping Polish nuke. Martinez and flipping Boateng. They are, those guys are hustling well. Alaba. So everybody is speaking at the right time. So almost as if Hanky said, no, let's chill, let's chill. Okay, come the real crescendo of the season, I want everybody to really peak. And what a time to peak once you're now coming into the quarter semis of the Champions League. Heinkes. Speak to a bigger point than I was trying to say. Because I think I, I think it was um, Bank Harry or someone that, 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 that he said to me that why are you complaining about club football and, and so on and so forth? It's you, it's you neutral fans that don't really care about it. If you supported Bayern, you'd be lo loving it. I need to remind people. I began supporting Chelsea when they were losing to Bradford City 3-1 and would not finish any place above 6th. So I was supporting them before they, 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 they won anything of, of notes. Maybe like an FA Cup and so forth. Well, so I was supporting them when they were consistently coming 6th. They, they didn't sniff anywhere up, 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 above 6th. Okay, This so was during the days of Plippin, Dennis Wise, Zola and, and, and so forth. So, And if I was supporting Bayern Munich, at first it would be great, I'd be, I'd be happy. But afterwards I'd be like, wait a minute. What brings joy is when you're like, man, that was tough and we won. That's what brings real joy. Where it's, it's really tough. It's close. It's a few inches. It goes to the last few games, but you just win. That's what brings joy. I'll just speak for myself. What joy is there in winning a league with like six, five games to, to go? What joy is there in knowing you're going to win the league before a ball is even kicked? Where's the joy there? Because true joy and excitement comes when you don't know what's going to happen, where there's drama. It's going to go either way and you just win and it's like, wow, that was amazing. Because you still have that in the Champions League. Because in the Champions League, it's like you don't know. Like, even if it's fair, it's only like four or five teams. Between those four or five teams, it's just, it's, it's the finest details. Nobody's coming close to Bayern. Nobody's coming close to PSG. Nobody's coming close to Juventus. And Man City are now going to be doing their thing as, as well in... Um, the, the, the Premier League. So it's like, is this good? 
that a team wins a league title six, seven times in a row, is that good? Should we promote that? Does that help for football? Does that make club football exciting? Because if you're like, if, for instance, Bundesliga, if you support Leverkusen or Schalke, is there really any excitement knowing that we, we have no chance of winning the league? We're just trying to see whether we could come top four. No, no, no. If you're a supporter of Schalke, Leverkusen, maybe Hoffenheim now, you want to go into in, into a season saying that, man, who knows whether we can win the league or not. We're, we're aiming to win the league. But realistically, a Hoffenheim, Sch Schalke, Leverkusen, they're not aiming to win the league because they know that they don't have the chance. That they're not as good as Bayern Munich. That Bayern Munich will always win them because their, their team is far too good. Their squad is far too good. Their spending power is far too good. And they just cannot compete with that, as has been shown in the five, six previous seasons. So is that good for club football? People may, may say, yes, that look, man. It is, it, is, it is what it is. Because this is... Bayern Munich are not the enemies here. Ban on the enemies there. They're doing what they're doing. I'm looking at UEFA, FIFA. Yeah, UEFA, those those, those, those those flipping clowns who don't care about racism. Yeah, those l losers. FIFA as well. Those Because you, you're the guys that organize the, the rules that can bring your salary cap. For Ban Unique, no, it's fine. <laughs> they're all, look, Ban Unique are playing by the rules. They're not breaking any rules. Okay? So these are rules that we can buy whoever whoever we, we, we want. We are banning. We know they can attract people. We're not breaking any rules. We're playing by the rules. And therefore, we are benefiting from them. So unless, until we change those rules, <laughs> we're going to ball. And I keep reminding people that, is this healthy for football? Thank you for watching this video. Think about pledging and become a Half of Football Hot patron. Pledge an amount each month and gain access to exclusive videos from your boy, the Football Hot, for more analysis. Peace.